Hello, everybody. So today we're gonna, I'm gonna try to explain why Tesla was not profitable on Q2 2019. Okay. <coughs> so I'm gonna a little bit sick, so I may cough. Like and some that like one was explaining, so please ignore that. And then also please do not uh skip around. So like if you skip around the video, my explanation will not <coughs> will not make any sense. So I have to watch the whole video towards the end, and I will explain the main point and I why Tesla was not profitable. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go through the balance sheet line by line and ex and see what's going on, what's causing Tesla money. Okay, so we are looking at the uh, Q2 2019 that ended June 30th, 2020, June 30th, 2019. Okay, so I'm looking at the first line. Line number one automotive sale was 5.168. Billion, okay, so that's how that's the car they sell for Model X, Model S, and Model 3. That, I think that's all of it, okay. So, and then we're moving on to 9.2 automotive leasing. That's when they lease out the Model S, Model X, and Model 3, so it's 208 million. As you can see in the <coughs> excuse me for my cough, as you can see in the past. And line two in the past, in the past uh, couple quarters, the lease revenue has gone down a little. Okay, so moving on to line three, total automotive revenue five point three seven six billion. Okay, I'm just gonna round it up. All right, so energy generation and storage revenue. So, so that's um, solar roof and then the storage. <coughs> So 368, okay, as you can see, compared to previous quarter, now March 30th, and, <coughs> and, no, not March, March 31st, and June 30th, it has, <coughs> man, my cough is not getting really bad. So it have raised pretty good, it's, it's raising, okay, so that's, it's growing pretty well compared to the previous quarters. Okay, it's not all time high, but it's getting all time high. Okay, so service and other revenue, so which is a nine five, that's six hundred and five million. So it's whoa, it's they certainly increase the service and other revenue a lot, but six hundred and five man, they are increasing a lot. So the total revenue will be six point three four nine billion. Okay, and then. We're going moving on to nine seven cost of revenue. Okay, nine I don't not nine nine seven nine seven oh yes nine seven cost of revenue and then nine eight automotive sale. So four point two five three billion. So uh to uh to they make five point one six eight billion, but it cost them four point two five three billion to make it. Okay, so. <laughs> Next one is number nine, automotive leasing, hundred and six million. That's how much it costs uh, to make two hundred and eight million. So, <coughs> so to, to the gross margin around automotive leasing is around fifty percent, which is pretty amazing. So moving on, number ten, total automotive cost of revenue four point three six billion. Okay, so that's adding uh, adding. So that's adding nine eight and nine uh, nine. Okay, so that equals nine ten. And then we on to nine lemon energy generation and storage. So that the it cost uh it cost them three hundred twenty five million to make three hundred. I'm looking at now nine four three hundred sixty eight million. Okay. So sir, now moving on to nine twelve. Service and other is seven hundred forty three million to uh to make now now they compare to nine five service and other revenue six hundred and five million so they are losing money on the service and and other so I don't know how 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 are they losing money so 
we need to get to maybe it's because they are building more service centers why I don't I need to look at the thing queue and see what service and other is included in that uh, line so total now <coughs> excuse me now we're moving on to line 13 total cost of revenue is 5.5.428 billion so 5913 uh so it's nine and uh, six total revenue minus uh 913 so it's 921 million for the gross profit so it's kind of like gross that's gross profit okay so it's total co uh total revenue minus the cost of revenue so that's gross profit okay so moving on to nine number five <coughs> operation expense so number 16 uh, they got research and development so it's 323 million so this line is kind of like stay in the 300 range is pretty consistent so if as tesla revenue grew grow so the um, research department i'm pretty sure will stay the same so 300 they could oh, tesla could also cut down on research in, in department but i don't think it's a good idea so let's keep it that way so another the huge expense is selling Excuse me. Selling general and administrative uh, in 917 administrative expense is 647 million compared to the last quarter they have reduced it by um, 7 or 8 percent which is really good. But <coughs> so what's selling in just general administrative so that's sales people that you meet at the uh, uh, at the Tesla store and delivery center, delivery guys, and like uh, legal team, legal organization team, a lot of nice service call. Okay, so that's like the sales, emergency, general, and that's every basically everything. Okay, so moving on to nine number 18, restructuring and others. So this quarter they took a big hit with. Hundred <coughs> seventy million. <coughs> Excuse my cough, man. So they took a big hit. It's hundred and seventy million for restructuring and other. And on Q one, they only got like every quarter. They seem to be cost modeling for restructuring and other costs. Like on it's just like one time expense. Last quarter was like forty three million. So moving on to nine number nineteen total operation expense so it'll be one point zero eight billion okay so moving on now number twenty last one operation interest income so that's twenty one so they got ten million dollars in interest income so that's my probably the five billion dollar they're sitting in the bank interest expense so there are 12 around 11 billion in debt that's we are looking at 922 11 billion in debt so they are paying around 171 million dollars for interest expense so that's also really really expensive so if tesla could pay down that debt your tesla will be like really profitable so moving on to 23 923 other expense and income so the they got other expense of being like 40 million so that could be travel expense or or just anything like cleaning or something or, or tax or license or anything like that so last before in context so the <coughs> so it's 369 million okay so it's so it's prop uh, so it's gross profit uh, minus total operation expense then then plus the interest expense plus the other expense so that's uh 926 net loss 389 million the net income attributed to run controlling interest and the loan controlling interest 
so that's 19 million so I, I think that that's for the um, major shareholders or I don't really get what this is I think that's for the board directors salary or something around those nice kind of like major uh, shareholders salary or something around those nice I don't really get it that part that's the only part I don't get so so 928 so next so the total loss for this quarter gap loss is 408 million dollars <coughs> so that's total loss that's a loss mainly just because of the uh, uh, interest expense uh, 171 and then they had restructuring 117 million they could also cut down on those and and then like now a lot the I think the main reason they lost this quarter was unprofitable because their auto gross auto gross margin was uh, only nineteen percent. Okay, so go I think that's combined gross margin for Model X, Model S, and Model Three is a nineteen percent. So one percent can make a huge difference okay so let's say say like one percent like and maybe twenty percent so if if Tesla like sell uh, 95,000 cars for this quarter and they have one percent improvement on the gross margin so that's one percent so that's not hold on maybe 35,000 of one percent so that is a like uh, let me do is it like uh can really so this night just let's say they they have like one thousand dollar improvement on the uh car gross margin and then and then so they sold like ninety five thousand so times one thousand so that's around ninety five million dollars so they they can improve a lot okay so how 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 why was uh Tests are profitable on Q4 2018. It's because they have gross margin of more than 20% for their automotive revenue. So it'd be like Model 3, Model S, and Model X. They are more than 20%. It's like 21, 22. Make a huge difference if you are profitable or not. But on Q second quarter of 2019, the gross margin was at 19%. So there is a huge difference so like three percent gross margin difference so let me let me get on my calculator and see so let's say they have like three percent difference growth and gross margin for the car so three divided by 100 so 0 0.03 times uh around this they say their asp average selling price for the vehicle is fifty thousand so three percent times fifty thousand Okay, so it's one thousand five hundred dollars for each vehicle. So times one uh, ninety five thousand delivery um estimate delivery. So they they are losing around hundred forty two million dollars. So <coughs> gross margin does make make a huge difference in uh, it can mean <coughs> profitability for Tesla or not. So if Tesla like, do get to 25% like, gross margin, I'm pretty sure they will be profitable and they are also paying ex like, interest expense. Okay. So now you know, like, Tesla is like, reducing price on their vehicles, like $1,000 reduction for like, Model 3 SR. So, so that's why that's another main reason why Tesla is not profitable. But in the long run is I'm put hundred percent so the Tesla can become profitable as long as they can reach the twenty five to thirty percent gross margin that like Elon Musk said on the Q two twenty nineteen earnings call. Alright, so that's basically it. Please subscribe to my channel and I will look uh I also allow my like financial education videos and Tesla videos a lot. Alright, thank you so much for listening and I see you in the next one.